of stocks. Today I'm going to be making a challenge to myself to try to get into four different tickers, maybe five. But I've got four on watch that I'm going to be looking at first thing this morning and I'm going to see if I can find any bullish or bearish action out of them and wait for the right time to take the trade. And those four stocks that I'm going to be talking about today are going to be Tesla, Baidu, Boeing, and Apple. I like all four of these stocks. Uh, they're in different kind of moods right now. I think they're uh, Tesla and Baidu are my two top trades. And then I've got Boeing, which was a top trade. It's now in a, in a selling position because it's been overbought. And then Apple, I don't think I've ever really had the respect that it deserves during the pandemic. And I think this one one day is going to have a real nice breakout. It's taking a longer time than usual, but I'm scalping it on the pullbacks, and it's a pretty nice little payday if you can get in under 120, even around 118, 116 area. So we're going to go ahead and start in. We're going to talk about Tesla first thing. And we had an inverse head and shoulders that was called out in the room, and she did have a nice little bounce up past my resistance levels. And I drew this channel yesterday before market and we did pull right back to it as you can see to that bottom support I mean we hit it perfect and this was drawn before this happened so she did pull right back to that bottom support but that's probably a real fast fat finger or something that didn't last long and then she pulled back to that support and then ran up pretty nice had a pretty nice little run from the bottom of that head and shoulders and then she found couldn't find resistance to break which I had here at 70184 which once I started seeing the selling that would have been a nice little exit area especially when she started forming this descending pattern and then right into close we had those huge engulfing candles like they were just cutting loose on it so I've got a low support down here to hold at 65482 I've got a buy signal right here at 66142 if that holds I'll be looking for candlestick patterns and watching the volume and the tape on this trade here. 667.90 is that first support. And we did pull back to that here just a little bit ago. And I'm going to magnify this up, show you what I'm talking about. That hammer hit that thing right there. So, yeah, this is one I'm going to be watching. Like I said, stronger buy is going to be right down here at around 655. I got a pivot point area in the channel at 661.42 with that first support at 667.90 with resistance to break. Today is going to be, I'm going to say right up in here, right around the 667.43 area. That's the resistance that we need to break. So I'm going to draw that into a red line. And when it comes to that point, I'll have to go back and look why I picked this channel. But this is on the 30 minute. 10 day time frame. And the next one we're going to be looking at is going to be Baidu. I really love this trade. <laughs> this trade is just, this trade can make you. Let's go back to Tesla here. And I want to look at the option chain. So usually I like playing the $700 strike right here on Tesla. And right now it's at $825. So that's the one I've kind of be looking back. But if we have a nice pullback, and we can get under this area can get down under a grand on that 680 I think that'll be a nice little uh, stock to look at too that 680 or that 700 those are going to be the two I'm going to be looking at to get into this trade unless I get real crazy and buy into the 670 and I start seeing a run up real fast but I like these two right down here that 700 and that 680 and the next one we're going to be talking about, and I do trade my options with Tastyworks. I'm not a sponsor of them by any means, but I have three different accounts I trade out of. I trade Tastyworks with my options. I use U Stock Trade for scalping, and then I use Ameritrade for swings and scalping. And I do swing trade, and I am learning a little bit better to swing trade these options too. But right now, I'm in the scalping mood only until I start seeing some stability into the market. So the next one we're going to be looking at is going to be Baidu. Let me go back over here. I really like Baidu. I think we're down here at the bottom. She did have a nice little pullback for three days and then we had that nice bounce yesterday. And then here we are again. We opened up and she's pulled back again. 
I really like this stock. This is in a Darvis box right now, and I want to kind of bring that to your attention here. It's been going sideways for a couple of weeks, and the bottom of this support level is right at 256.03. That's what we need to hold. If that does not hold, I'll go back to the neckline of this head and shoulders, and I'll get in here at 247. So that's going to be my very strong buy, just in case this 256.03 does not hold. And right now we're at 258, 257.80, and we did get down here to 257.33. So I really like this trade. I want to see it break out of the Darvis box, and that's going to be right up in here. Let me get to the five-day, five-minute right up in here right around the 272.15 area so yeah I really like this this is the pivot point right here at 262.92 with a resistance to break at 267.01 long up here to 271 if it gets there but I really like this trade on pullbacks and I bet you if you watch this thing it will start bouncing up again the next one we're going to be looking at is going to be Boeing I've been bullish, very bullish on Boeing under 200. We've had a nice run to 267 something, or let me see, it might have even went higher than that. Let's look at the 20 day. We went to 278.57. So down here on the 20 day, we had a 206 run all the way to 278, which is telling me it's overbought. Now I do have a confirmation that we are on the 200 day here, SMA, which is usually a bouncing spot for me. But I want to see it get to this 246.94 with some pre-market selling. And if it does have a little pullback there, this is one trade that I'm going to be very interested in today. I took a pretty good loss on this yesterday, about 600 bucks. I was down almost 2,000 on it. And I had to kind of wiggle, wiggle my way out of it. But this did kind of hurt me yesterday. And I'm going to be patient and I'm gonna get my money back in this trade. But for right now, I've got a confirmation of the 200 SMA, which we can see bounces off that three different times. But every time they did drop a little bit below that, and I'm in the same kind of mood with this, I think it can, because it's had such a great run, I think we can pull back a little bit more, but I do need this 45 to hold. That's very important that that area does hold to me or we're going to start falling back into some lower territories like the 241 area or maybe even down here right around the 235. But it's very important that we do hold this support at 245. We are in a descending pattern and we did break that pattern and she did drop down below but she did hit a confirmation of that 200 SMA. And then the last one we're going to be talking about is going to be one of my favorites that I think's uh, been beat, not really beat up, but just hasn't had the respect that it deserves during the pandemic. And I just don't understand why we ain't, ain't had a bigger run on this trade. But she definitely pulled back to that 116 level at on the 20 day, another inverse head and shoulders, where she went ahead and she went ahead and broke out of that. So we did have, we couldn't get up to the higher high, but she did break that 200. We tried to break it here once before. We did break it here, tried to break it here. We did break it here. She pulled back and hit support level here and then failed. And this was a buy signal yesterday at 120. And then she went ahead and had them three white soldiers. And that was a sell signal to me, get out of the trade and maybe buy it back at the bottom of this support level, which is usually at the bottom of that first candle. And if not, it'll hold support down here at 121.42. So somewhere in this channel between 121.73 and 121.42 is to me the place to take the trade. But I'll have to see. I do have a support level here that I have an alert set for 121 for a strong buy. And that's Apple. And then also I did a video yesterday on this trade right here, Jiffin. Uh, this was called out in the room by Tony Starks and uh, Miss Vegas. And they were on this pretty good. She had a nice little pullback Friday, and then we had that nice bounce yesterday. So I've got a low support. I got the first support right here. And you can watch the video and go over it. And it was the one that I made yesterday. And it's a video all of its own. But this is a new, new, the new wave, the new thing. So this is one that we're going to be watching 
this could really spark and take off or we could pull back and, and I'm going to be scalping this trade today if I can get in at a good level. Now I do have a strong buy down here right around the 1150 area and then that first support that I want to hold is going to be this 1316 area, 1315. If that doesn't hold, I'll be patiently waiting for it to hit this channel right in here. And that's going to be jiffing. But you can go back and watch that previous video also. So this is it for today. These are going to be the five that I'm going to be watching right out of the gate. Plus I'm going to be listening to trade ideas and I'm going to be listening to the people in the room. We have some pretty good traders in here. And it's a pretty fast paced room. There's a lot of calls being made. You know, I like to take one trade at a time, maybe two at the most in this period of time right now. I used to trade five at a time when it was more easier to trade, but there's so much volume with the competition of the retail traders and the fat cats fighting each other, wanting to know who's the best. So I'm just kind of playing it easy until we start to get in a little bit of uh, less volatility and the market starts to slow down and I expect that to happen within probably about a month. Spring is starting up so it's time to start thinking about them spring stocks and I wish everybody a great day and always remember I love stocks. Miss Vegas, the Money Flow Queen posts alerts in here on our Twitter page and she's constantly posting alerts in here and great ideas if you want to follow them and also we do have our stock twits which you can go ahead and follow us here if you're not a member of our room. Always remember, I love stocks. Keep it that way.